Hey everybody, I just wanted to make a quick video going over some laundromat terms. I know there's a lot of videos out there and they might use some terms you don't know. So if you're a beginner or trying to get into the business, um, this is a good video for you because I'm going to go over some basic laundromat terms so you kind of know what people are talking about and you kind of learn the lingo so you can uh, be knowledgeable on uh, how people in the business talk. So the first one I want to go over is the laundromat itself. Most people in the business either call it the mat or they call it a store. Um, I know a lot of my distributors call uh, laundromat stores. How many stores do you own? Um, they're talking about laundromats. They consider it a store. So in my la for distributor, basically those are the salesmen that will sell you the equipment. Those guys are like the most, probably most important person you're going to deal with. They know the area, they know the markets, they know the demographics, and they sell the equipment. So those are the guys you want to talk to even before you purchase any store or build a store or take over a store. You want to talk to the, the distributors, which are the salesmen, because they know the store. They've sold the equipment. Um, they know the ins and outs in the business. And a good distributor um, won't put you in a position to fail. They want to put you in a position to succeed. So they, you, you know, you buy more equipment from them down the road. Uh, next term would be turn count. This is basically every time a uh, washer or dryer goes, it's called a turn. So they'll use a term like turns per day. That's how many times the washers use per day. The industry average is about three turns per day. So uh, a slow laundromat, you know, won't get to three, and a busy one. Uh, some of my places will get to like, you know, eight turns per day on a really busy Sunday. Uh, for laundromats, busiest day of the week is Sunday by far. You'll do half your business on Sunday compared to the rest of the week sometimes. Um, next term I want to go over is makeup air. So the dryers are pumping air out of the machines. They're bringing hot air in and pumping the air out of the exhaust. Um, you want the air behind the... Uh, dryers that's called the makeup air bringing new air into the dryers you want that air different from the air inside the laundromat uh, you want that pretty much outside air because you don't want to be taking the conditioned or heated air and blowing it right out of your dryer exhaust so that's what they mean by makeup air um, there is a calculation of how many dryers you have to how much square footage of makeup air you need um, I usually do for every stack dryer I do one foot by one foot uh, I don't know if it's a cubic feet or how they measure the air, but that's how much makeup air you need in the wall to bring enough air in to to uh, make up that air when the dryer's on. So stack dryer, basically that's a dryer with two, uh, you know, top and bottom. Uh, some people call it double stacked, which is kind of uh, it's not exactly right. Um, everyone knows what you're talking about, but the correct term is stack dryer. Um, on top of each other. Uh, top loader are the old style white machines that flip open. Um, they're old white Maytag, Speed Queen makes them. I've seen previous ones. And that was, uh, you know, how the wash used to be done for decades. Um, there's also front load uh, ones, same style. They're the Neptune, Maytag Neptune with the door swings open in the front. Um, I do have some of those in my laundromats as well. But for the most part, people call those top loaders. Uh, people are trying to phase out of them because they use a lot of utilities, a lot of water, and you don't make a lot of money up uh, from them. Uh, a lot of the owners of the stores, they want the bigger machines because they make more money on those machines. Uh, front loader are the new, newer style machines. You got hard mount, which are bolted to the ground. You got soft mount, where, which are just sitting there. Um, but those open from the front and they can... I've seen up to, I think, 120 pound. I think Dexter makes a 120. Uh, I, I think I might have even seen a Speed Queen for a 130 uh, pound machine. So what they mean by pound machine is that's how the they do the sizing for the machines. So they have like a 20 pound machine front loader, a 30 pound. Every basket of laundry is considered about 10 pounds. So a uh, top loader can do about uh, 10 pounds of laundry, so one basket of laundry. Whereas like a 30, 40, 50, 60 pound machine can do, you know, three, four, five, six baskets of laundry. 
Um, the most popular machine in, in my places are the 80 pound machine, which can hold up to eight baskets of laundry. They're really big machines. Um, next term would be changer. This would be the change machine. Um, basically when customers bring in dollar bills to put them in there to get coins, um, that's pretty much your heart of the laundromat. You want to make sure that you get a big enough one um, to accommodate the size of your laundromat. Uh, change out a collection. That's when you go through and empty out the machines um, to get you know the coins out. Uh, another term would be three phase. Um, that's the type of power you have. So regular power comes in basically 110. Um, or 220, which is a double 110 line. Three phase is three 110 lines with one neutral, I believe. It was a, the most efficient way back in the day to run these big machines, uh, but now a lot of these new machines just run on 220. Um, if you're an electrician, and I'm kind of off with those uh, terms, put them in the comments below. Sorry, I'm not an electrician, so... But... Um, a lot of the new machines aren't three phase and they're kind of like getting faded out from the industry in my opinion um, mechanicals would be uh you know electric plumbing if someone says check out the mechanicals or the mechanicals are expensive um that's all the you know the the electric and the plumbing uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video just a basically a term sheet of laundromat uh uh terms you know if you guys uh like this and want me to do another uh, part two to this video or if you have any questions or uh, terms or buzzwords you want me to explain in the next video put them in the comments below um, but appreciate you guys for watching and uh, we'll see you next video